Volcanic ash has caused the worst disruption in air travel since 9-11. In Iceland, a volcano continues to put on quite a show. The eruption began six days ago after laying dormant for 189 years. 65,000 flights canceled, hundreds of thousands of passengers stranded, and all because of that volcanic eruption in Iceland. In April 2010, over 100,000 flights were grounded across the world. Airlines were losing millions of dollars a day as a dark cloud covered much of the sky. And the cause was a mixture of weather patterns and a volcanic eruption in Iceland that lasted 71 days straight. It started off as a few small earthquakes back in January of that year, but by March, after 187 years of being dormant, lava was flowing out of a stratovolcano in the country. That lava mixed with ice and mud, which led to a thick steam and ash cloud that covered the sky and led airlines to ground flights for a week out of fear it could damage aircraft and put lives at risk. It was a major global event that cost the world economy nearly $5 billion. And here's the thing, we know of about 1,000 1,500 volcanoes worldwide, eight of which have active lakes of lava. At any given time, somewhere between 50 and 60 are continuing to erupt around the globe. And with such massive powers of destruction, the ability to burn entire cities, trigger tsunamis, halt entire industries. How exactly are volcanoes formed? What causes them to erupt? And could volcanoes actually be good for us? Let's find out. Volcanic eruptions are these big, terrifying, and destructive pieces of nature. And throughout history, we've seen just how devastating they can be. Take the city of Pompeii. It lay silently buried under ash for 1,700 years after Mount Vesuvius erupted. And that eruption was 100,000 times more powerful than the bombs dropped on Japan. It wasn't until the late 16th century that architect Domenico Fontana found the earliest traces of the forgotten city. We actually have a whole page on Pompeii, it's linked below, but let's jump forward to something more recent. In 1991, Mount Pinatobo in the Philippines erupted, and that came after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit the region in 1990. The eruption killed more than 800 people and caused $700 million in damage. And even more recently, in 2022, an underwater volcano in Hunga Tonga called Hunga Tonga Hunga Haape erupted. It led to the largest underwater Water eruption ever recorded. The explosion was so massive, satellites from space picked it up. And while the volcano itself didn't cause massive damage, the tsunami that followed hit nearby islands, leading to four deaths and several injuries. Now, as we mentioned earlier, there are an estimated 1,500 volcanoes around the world. Many lie dormant for years, just like the one in Iceland, but others, they're actively erupting or flowing with hot lava. In fact, it's estimated that over 350 million people live in constant danger of nearby volcanoes that could erupt at any time. That's why scientists today are actively monitoring and studying volcanic activity, hoping to predict eruptions before they happen. And here's the thing, humanity has been thinking about how to harness the power of these volcanic beasts since as early as the Romans. But before we can understand how, we first need to take a closer look at how volcanoes are formed, why they erupt, and the different types that exist. At the most basic level, a volcano is an opening in Earth's crust, where molten rock, or magma, escapes along with gases, ash, and rock. But what's happening underneath is actually much more complex. You see, the Earth's outer shell is broken into tectonic plates that are constantly on the move, colliding, pulling apart, and sliding past each other. And along these fault lines is where most volcanoes are born. Now, magma forms amid extreme pressure and heat, and it does this in three major ways. First, there's decompression melting. That happens at mid-ocean ridges and rift zones. Then flux melting at subduction zones, where one plate dives beneath another. And finally, hot spots like the Hawaiian Islands, where plumes of superheated rock rise through the mantle independent of any plate boundaries. There are about 1,350 potentially active volcanoes around the world, and that's not even counting the ones hidden along the ocean floor. On land, roughly 20 volcanoes are actively erupting right now, 
as you're watching this video. Many of them are located along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Now, to measure how powerful these eruptions are, scientists use something called the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI for short. It ranges from zero, basically a slow lava flow, all the way up to eight, which is the most destructive. And not all volcanoes are built the same. Shield volcanoes like Mauna Loa are broad and gentle, built from flowing basaltic lava. Composite volcanoes, or stratovolcanoes like Mount Rainier, are steep, conical, and dangerously explosive. Cinder cones are small, steep piles of volcanic debris, usually formed from single, short-lived eruptions. Volcanic domes form when thick, sticky lava barely flows, creating these rounded, towering structures. And then there are calderas, like Yellowstone. Giant depressions form when massive eruptions cause a volcano to collapse inward. Volcanoes also vary based on the type of lava they produce, and that variation mostly comes down to one thing. Silica. Basaltic lava has low silica, around 45 to 53 percent, making it runny and fast moving. And acidic lava contains more silica, between 53 and 62 percent, so it's thicker and more explosive. And rhyolitic lava, that's the most extreme, with silica content between 70 and 78 percent. It's extremely viscous, and it's behind some of the deadliest eruptions in history. And while volcanoes are mesmerizing, they're also packed with danger outside of lava. We're talking hazards like pyroclastic flows, which are fast, deadly clouds of gas and debris, lahars, volcanic mud flows that can bury entire towns, ash clouds, which ground planes, collapse roofs, and damage lungs, and toxic gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, which can kill silently. Most volcanoes are concentrated in specific regions like the Ring of Fire, Iceland, and volcanic hotspots scattered across the globe. In fact, about 170 potentially active volcanoes are found just in the United States and its territories. But volcanoes aren't just random, they're the visible scars of Earth's powerful, ongoing reshaping, a reminder that our planet is still very much alive. But here's the twist. Volcanoes aren't just destructive. They could actually help power the future of our world. And the thing is, this idea isn't new. Over 10,000 years ago, early cultures were already harnessing the Earth's heat. Not for electricity, but for life. Native American tribes built entire settlements around hot springs, and the Romans, they turned them into sprawling bathhouses, places for healing, relaxation, and community. And if we fast forward to the early 1900s, and humans figured out how to turn natural steam from Earth's crust into electricity by spinning turbines using geothermal energy. And its potential is massive. The heat trap within just six miles of Earth's surface contains 50,000 times more thermal energy than all the oil and natural gas reserves on the planet combined. And with scientists warning that we could run out of coal, oil, and gas within the next few decades, geothermal energy isn't just a cool idea anymore. It might actually be essential. And the thing is, it's already happening. In Iceland, more than 60% of the country's primary energy comes from geothermal sources. In California, it's already about 6%. Countries like the Philippines and Kenya, they're rapidly expanding their geothermal sectors too. But volcanoes offer even more than just energy. Their eruptions, as destructive as they are, scatter minerals like magnesium and potassium across the land. And over time, those volcanic rocks break down into some of the most fertile soils on Earth. And it's not just for farming either. Volcanoes fuel local economies through tourism too. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park alone brings in around $149 million a year for nearby communities. Places like Iceland and even the ruins of Pompeii have turned volcanic landscapes into cultural and economic centers. Millions of visitors show up every year, fascinated by the raw power of Earth. And at an even deeper level, volcanoes play a critical role in recycling and chemically mixing Earth's crust. They bring fresh material from deep within the planet up to the surface. And without them, Earth's geology would stagnate, ecosystems would falter, and over millions of years, life as we know it might not have thrived at all. So while volcanoes have unleashed some of the most destructive forces in history, causing devastation on a scale even greater than atomic bombs, they've also given us unexpected gifts, from powering our homes to enriching our soils to literally reshaping the planet beneath our feet. Volcanoes have quietly fueled life even as they threaten it, and we're only beginning to tap into their full potential. But if you want to dive even deeper into the wild world of volcanoes, check out the resources linked below and be sure to subscribe for more content like this.